So, fellas, what is uh, your initial take of the Mika Rustica here? Um, I think I'll start off. And for mine, um, I actually did a V cut on it just to try it. And I actually kind of like it. it uh, I know it's going to be a problem a little bit later, but right now it's pretty good. Uh, it's got a good um, output of smoke on it, uh, has a good taste to it. It's, it's really earthy. Uh, definitely an earthy cigar, uh, which I mean, it's Connecticut Broadleaf, so they usually are kind of, kind of earthy and uh, mixed with the uh, Nic uh, Nicaraguan filler. You're definitely gonna get some earth. So, but uh, as of right now, I like it. Did up pretty well. I tried to kill. Yeah. Already tried to kill you? Oh uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I had the 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 cap over the you know of the, the, the front of the cigar. And, I lit it, and it just immediately, like, embers off down on my shirt. Mm. I was like, motherfucker! <laughs> you know. You gotta be careful with those close feet. Yeah, I think I actually yelped out loud, so that's gonna be fun for Ben to edit out. If I edit it out. Oh, you're going to. That'll be an Instagram or TikTok or whatever. Grim yelps like Patreon. a little girl. Pa Patreon. See, only see fans? Grim screams like a little girl. Five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> With your monthly subscription, you'll get a personalized girly scream every month from Graham. <laughs> oh, that'd be awful! Can you imagine, like, if we had even like a hundred people that do the Patreon? If I had to do a hundred girly screams in a recording session, I would get. I would get worse. Than... It, at the twenty dollar level, you scream their name. Oh no, it's more than that. It's, it's more. Than, it's more than that. I am, I am a classy whore. And you know, things like that are a lot, a lot higher. All right. How about you, Andy? I like the way it feels. It's very, uh, it's, it's got good weight to it. it. Does have good weight. Um, thinking about it though, you're right. It's, it's got a pretty earthy feel to it. And I first light, I've only had a couple of puffs off of it, so I don't, I'm not gonna throw a whole lot to the wind there. Looks good. It's very. Very nice looking cigar. So we'll see how it goes. Right, fair enough. How about you, Grand Daughter? It's not killing you anymore. Um, it was trying to, sir. I fought it off like a champion. There was no girly screams whatsoever. Uh, it feels thick. It feels like it's very uh, it's a weighted cigar. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, sorry. We forgot what we're doing. Uh, it's 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 okay. 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 Good. All right. How about you, Robert? <laughs> oh, first thing I notice is it's not really burning evenly. On that, but it, I agree with Ben. It's uh, Ben Graham. It's a little heavier. Um, thought I had a hint of cardamom when I first lit it, but it went away real fast, and that earth taste came in. So it, it's really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I agree. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Cadbury cigars. Stop looking at me like that, Ben. Stop looking at me like that, Ben. Guys, I'm scared. I'm sorry, were you talking? He cut your mic like five minutes ago. Robert, He's do you have an opinion? Post, anyway. Robert, do you have an opinion? Oh, we're, we're going to skip Robert. It's fine. Robert's gonna be doing his review, and there's gonna be a black bar in front of his face. So it'll be like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> and for Patreon, though, it'll do exactly that, but have the cadminium or whatever the fuck word, you know, is the only word that's said the entire time, so they know why he got bleeped out. Yeah. And and now for an opinion that matters. Uh, oh. Damn. Uh, ouch. I feel that's awfully special, and sorry for the rest of you now. Uh, no, no, I was, okay. I, I, was, I was pointing at Robert, just Robert. No, uh, no, okay. it's all right. That's fine. I've got I a little respect. You just got to fix your tie. Yeah, exactly. No respect. So I, I went with a V cut also because uh, a lot of times I'll do a V cut on, uh, on a torpedo kind of shape. I feel like like maybe you, you get a different draw. I don't know. I like V cuts. You do. You do. I, I feel the same way. I got a little bit of a cosmetic issue, but I don't think it's going to affect the way the cigar smokes. So it's like a little bit of a hole in the wrapper towards the towards the head, uh, but I, I'm not worried about it at all. Um, so far, similar to what you guys have been describing, kind of earthy, uh, not not overly strong. Uh, 
Um, but pretty good. Looking forward to seeing how it uh, grows a little bit. All right, so we're about halfway on the cigar. Or this steel rod, or this B and E tool, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the baseball. <laughs> the baseball. Yeah, yeah. yeah I kind of does look like a club. Uh, it's gotten. It's definitely gotten stronger. Uh, smoke output is still primo. I, I really like the smoke output on it. Um, kind of a film in my mouth. It's very subtle though, so it's not. It's not bad. Uh, so I probably won't knock it off a point unless it gets worse. Um, like I said, smoke output's good. Uh, taste is really good. Uh, I don't have the coffee flavor anymore. It's more. Um, it, it, it's definitely an earthy, earthy taste to it. So, um, so far, not bad. Not bad at all. And there? Oh, I haven't heard it that way in a while. I miss roll. Um, I went back and grabbed the uh, cellophane. So, by the way, this is the uh, the belly is the name of this one. B-E-L-L-Y, belly. So seven and a half by 54. Yep. Um, you can also use it to jack up your car on weekends. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, uh, I just put it behind the wheel for a block, you know? Yeah. The uh, To me, I'm with you, it's still earthy, but it's got a little spice to it, especially like in the retro hell. Mm-hmm. It, it's still smoking pretty well. I still have some issues with it not keeping an even an even burn line, but I'm okay with that. It's not detracting from the experience, other than the fact that I have the microphone on mute long enough to go. <laughs> All right. So, how about Grambles? Um, eh. Is that all we get? No, uh, it, it, it wasn't good enough? Okay. Um, Monosyllabic. Uh, uh, all right, gotcha. Yeah, no, I I don't know. I just, I, I don't think the smoke I put's that great, and it is burning weird, and uh, uh, there is a film in my mouth, but it, like it's it, like the flavor isn't intense in any way, shape, or form. So it's just a film. Like, there's no like I'm not getting any kind of lasting flavor to it or anything like that. So I, I don't know. Like I I'm hoping it picks up. Fair enough. Or otherwise, eh. Eh. the um, shorthand version. Gotcha. Yeah. Ravier Um. Yeah. So. Uh, Finally went to burning again. Oop, here. Uh, it's a very hard cigar to, to drag, pull, whatever. Um, not bad. Uh, but you detect the earth tones there. Uh, but yeah, it's so far it's going pretty good. That's yeah. terrible. And finally, I got you. Too. I hear him through Ben's microphone before he registers in his microphone, like in an echo. Like, I hear him through Ben first. Yeah, we just had to live with it. I thought it was exactly. funny. <laughs> uh, I'm not having any burn issues. Uh, it's pretty even. The draws will tighten up a little bit. I uh, don't see much tar, so I'm not going to try to recut it just yet. Uh, the earthiness has kind of leaned towards a little bit of sweetness on mine, which is kind of pleasant. It's not uh, not like like a sugar dip, you know, obviously sugar or, or something like that. It's just kind of like a sweet, sweet side of tobacco, and uh, I kind of like it. Uh, uh, I think we should go ahead and rate them. Uh, mine, okay. it would take one more puff off of it. Um, it, it turned into a... a, a Full, full body cigar. You're close to the end. Um, I haven't been drinking, but yet I'm slowing my words. So it, it has affected me pretty well. Um, the uh, smoke output on it, it's, it's still been good for me. I don't know why other, you know, others have had issues, but the smoke output's been, been fine for me. Um, the, the earthy tone to it is not something I really like throughout my entire cigars. I mean, it's okay if it has a hint of it, but if it tastes like it through an entire cigar, it's, it's not for me. Um, so this one is probably going to get a, uh, but the thumb of my mouth, it, it, it eased off, so it's, it's not so bad. The, um, probably about a 3.5 on this one. 
um, just because I'm getting the uh, the dizziness, and I can't say that I, you know, enjoyed it to the point where I don't mind the dizziness. I do mind the kick in my ass because it's uh, just 3.5. How about you, Andy? I got a little bit more left in mine, but uh, the flavors were fairly consistent. Spicy picked up a little bit. I'm with you. It, it intensified after the halfway point from uh, medium more to a full. I don't know that it's. I, I'm not. I'm not exploring my words yet without having to think about it. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely grown in intensity. The, the draw has been easy from start start at least to this point. The bigger issue for me has been having to touch it up on a regular basis. But outside of that, it's it's been a good cigar. Definitely would suggest if you're going to have this, potentially go get you get you a full meal. Maybe have a little chocolate or sugar hanging out nearby. But I'm with. I want to give it a probably a three. Yeah, three and a half out of five works for me. Yeah. I can agree with that, and that's that's about where I put it. The shorter versions of this same cigar, I might rate a little higher. The the length on this is a little bit longer than what I'm used you know usual usually smoke. So. That's not a detractor per se. It's just a just a mental note. Yeah, three and, yeah, three and a half. Yeah, three. I agree with the green. How about you, Graham? Yeah, it was not my cigar. It was not like a, you know. Uh, it was it was it was very thick. It was hard to draw. I didn't get any kind of taste out of it. Like I got the film that everybody was talking about, but um, I didn't. Uh, like it, it's just it's weird in my of a taste in my mouth. Like it doesn't have any kind of like I can't describe it as anything. It's not like earthy or cedar or maple or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, uh, I tried punching a hole in it, like in, 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 to uh, to give it an airway to see if it would draw better or, or smoke better. And as I said, like it was so thick that it like it resealed itself. Uh, so I really felt like I was fighting the cigar rather than enjoying it. Uh, and I mean, like that's the point of a cigar is the enjoyment is relaxation, you know. So it, it didn't really. It didn't go well for me. Um, I'm gonna give it a 2.5, and uh, which, which uh, I don't do lightly, but it, it just it was not my spark. That's fair enough, man. Javier too. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, like I said <laughs> even when I laid it, it didn't burn even the start of it. Started. So I the, punched the holes in it. The drawing was harder. Uh, the input and the output were good, but I was really, really having a struggle with this one. Uh, I swear my words all the time, so it doesn't matter. But I'd say three. This is not inebriated. So I'd say three. Fair enough. How about you, Zach? I didn't have any real issues with the cigar um, up until this point where I left it alone too long and, and it went out. Um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm about done with it. And uh, I agree with Andy about the length of the cigar. I do prefer like a, a shorter cigar. Um, and at the end of a cigar, I want to go, man, I wish I had more of that cigar. And this was because it was, it was a longer cigar. I was like, I was done. I'm, I don't care about relighting it. Um, but no issues. Uh, I thought the flavor for me was was pretty decent. Uh, I got that that sweetness carried through uh, till the end, and I thought that was kind of a, a nice a nice flavor for the cigar, but with a little bit of that earthy undertone, like you were kind of describing. Um, but overall, pretty pleasant. Uh, I'm gonna say. I like 3.5 as a as a rating. It's it's a it's an average cigar. It's 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 what I would call a, a, a good cigar, but it's not an excellent cigar for me. Uh, if uh, I think I would probably like it in a robusto or or something a little bit shorter. Fair enough.